So today, I think I got a nice treat for all of us. Yeah, this video is about to be fun. So yeah, Ryan from Manito Percussion sent me this requinto so I could test out and give him my honest opinion. Uh, so he probably already saw this video by now. Again, just to verify that I got all the specs right and you know, just so he can get the first kind of like look of my opinion. He, I don't know why he wants my opinion, but you know, we built a great relationship through the years and this drum is so, Beautiful. It is heavy though, man. It is heavy for a requinto, but I think that's because I don't know if you know, but this is a solid shell drum, meaning it's not made out of staves. It's not even made out of solid staves, anything like that. It's literally one whole piece and it's kind of you know, made in a way where it's not needed to be cut into different pieces to make one whole drum. That's what a solid cell drum is, and it's unique, it's beautiful, it's very carefully made. I actually visited uh, Manito Percussion back in 2019, and man, he was telling me the whole process on how to make a drum, and I was just there like shook. Shook to the core, because, you know, like his drums are, you know, they take some time. They take some time to 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 make and to develop. And man, he made this, I believe he told me it was back in 2018. But let me tell you a little bit more about this drum before I try to, you know, kind of put it through the trenches and, you know, listen to it in different, you know, tones and ranges. And I wanted to take you onto this journey too, just in case you wanted to hear what, you know, a solid show drum should sound like and what it's potentially could be and more and whatever, man. It's, it's, it's a beautiful drum. I actually played it again back in 2019. <laughs> Trust me, man, I was just having so much fun playing it, but I didn't get to like mess with it and tune it a specific way. So thank you, Ryan, for allowing me to have some fun with this. I am enjoying it so far. So I asked Ryan for some specs and the drum is actually 30 inches tall. The size of this requinto is nine and a quarter inches. So man, it's a true requinto and it's actually made out of a solid white oak. Solid white oak, that is some craziness. This drum has five lugs. Again, it's a nine and a quarter inch requinto. And I also had to ask Ryan about this as well. And I wanted to know what type of skin he put on this drum and also its thickness. Because if you do not know, it's a combination between the drum and the skin. Because you can have an okay sounding drum, but if you put a high quality skin on there, it changes the characteristics of that drum drastically. So if you put, you know, a really, really nice skin on a really, really nice drum, man, it's crazy. So what he actually has on here is roughly a 1.8 millimeter steer skin on this requinto. Craziness. 
And also the type of hardware is all polished stainless steel with a half round Moderna crown. And also I had to ask him how long ago he made this drum and how long it took him to make this drum. Because if you didn't know, handmade drums take a while to make and also handmade drums also need some time to break in. It's just actually with any drum in that fact, but very much so with handmade drums. They sound great out of the box, unbelievable, but the fact that they sound even better through time is what amazes me more. Where on certain, especially like mass produced drums or factory made drums, they kind of have a peak moment. They don't take that much long to, to break in, but they do need some time to break in. But with handmade drums, man, the way it sounds after one year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years, is crazy. So Ryan told me that he made this drum back in late 2018. So it was crazy because I played it in 2019 and it sounded great. It sounded unbelievable. I was just like shook. And he told me it takes him about one year to make a white oak drum. That is, that is crazy. One whole year. One whole year to develop this beautiful piece of art, this beautiful instrument. And man, I'm telling you from firsthand experience, when I played it back, you know, in 2019, I was like, man, this is some craziness right over here. Every slap, every open sounded crazy. But what we're gonna be able to do today is I'm gonna play it for you right now the way it's tuned, okay? So the way I received it from the box, the way it sounds out of the box when I received it, so untuned. But we're gonna test it out and I'm gonna kind of like crank it up. He said crank it up as much as I want. Ryan, you crazy. I'm trying to crank this thing up like crazy because this is what you get a requinto for, is to have a nice pop, have a nice crank, have a nice sound, have a nice slap, and then uh, I'll give my opinion as different tunings and what would probably be my favorite range. I'm not gonna tune to note. I'm not gonna tune to any specific scale or anything like that. It's just gonna be by my feeling, what I feel sounds good in that time. And again, tuning evenly. So yeah, let me actually show you how this sounds right off the bat. Wow. Of course, it's not meant to be tuned this low. But wow. Keep in mind, this is this is nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter with that much body. Hold on. That, that's some craziness right there. It's, this is nine and a quarter. Man, it, it, wow. Very dry. Um, a lot of, 
well not so much resonance and and again i'm playing on you know the the serving trays and things like that and i think the room kind of helps cut a little bit but it, it has an unbelievable body for for such a small drum this is look look like look look how hold on let me let me let me show you look look how small this drum is like in comparison to my hand this is crazy this is crazy because it's it's literally that small and the fact that it can project this type of tone at this you know tonal range is, is just unbelievable so let me crank it up a little bit and then test it out all right so i tuned it up a little bit literally just one full turn all around um like what the way i did it just to be on the safe side i did half turns each and then another half turn each just to be on the safe side because i do not want to mess this thing up so yeah so one full turn on each lug let's see how it sounds Wow. 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 That's off of one full turn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. And and what's crazy is there's a 1.8 millimeter thick skin. That's relatively thick, okay? That's actually relatively thick for a requinto. I would be curious, I really would. I would be curious how this drum would sound with a maybe like 1.4, 1.5 millimeter. And believe it or not, that, that somewhat makes a difference. Uh, like a like a thinner skin. How, how would this drum sound with a thinner skin? Will the slap sound a little bit, you know, with more overtone? if you hear that like it's so dry i love it oh my gosh but i would be curious and even on that other extreme what it would sound like with maybe like a 2.2 millimeter thick steer skin like something even drier you know Wow. Let's uh, crank it up a little bit more. Another half turn. Let's see here. Woo! All 
Are you kidding me? Like, I thought that last tuning was its limit. I, I seriously thought that. I literally thought... Wow. Wow. Dude. How are you? Wow. Dude. I mean, I'm not I'm not adding any EQ. This is straight straight the drum. Wow. Wow. I'm going to give it one more half turn just to see. Just to see. Again, just to see. All right, I haven't hit it yet. It's it's one half turn. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Man, the higher you go, the more it starts hurting, baby. Oh my God, it, it is, woo.
Yeah, wow. I am not gonna tune it any higher because this is just, this is just wrong. This is, wow. This is just, wow. Wow, I mean. I mean, first off, this drum sounds great at all ranges. It's unbelievable just the, the range it has to, to be that low and sound great, to be this high and sound great. Um, I think, you know, the first one, of course, is not to meant to be that low and tuned that low. Again, it's nine and a quarter, 30 inch tall, solid wood, white oak, five lugs. And um, yeah, it's not meant to be tuned that low. You know, but the fact that it sounds good that low and sounds good this high, and I believe it could probably go higher. I wouldn't normally play my requintos this high. It, it could go this high, and I think it sounds great. Oh my gosh. But I think my preferable range would probably be a half turn lower. So where I was before this range. So let me go back there. Yeah, this is my spot. This is where I think this drum really, really shines. I think you get the, the dryness, but again, some resonance, some, some body, some really great slaps. I think this range right here, Yeah, I think this is my range. I, I, I love this. I love, wow, this is a beautiful sounding drum. Beautiful looking, beautiful sounding. It feels good, it feels great between the legs. It's not that heavy, you know, to, to, to mess with it if you want to. But it is heavy, you know, it is definitely heavy. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a solid wood drum. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful drum. So what I'm going to do to end this video, I'm actually going to play along with a track. Uh, the track is not really even meant to be played with like a requinto or anything like that. It's not a rumba track or anything. Um, but I think I could have fun with it and get somewhat creative using just one drum and kind of highlighting its tones. And then I'm going to, again, mix it so it could you know, an EQ it so it could sound nice with the track. The track that I'm using is from Gabriel Globus. Uh, I'll put his information down below where you can get these tracks and as well um, see his YouTube channel, man. His YouTube channel is an unbelievable, unbelievable resource when it comes to the percussion community. He transcribes other people's solos, iconic musicians, and he has a bunch of tracks to help you kind of learn and develop. And he has great covers on there as well. So please subscribe to Gabriel's channel and you'll see why I think you should you know reach out to them especially these tracks these tracks are crazy so yeah thank you so much for watching this video um i'm gonna definitely have some fun with it and test it you know behind the scenes some other things that i think can sound great and uh you know you guys please reach out to manito percussion let them know what you think about this drum because it's crazy man i wish you guys were here it's it's just wow I, I wish you guys were here to hear what i'm hearing and what i'm experiencing right now it puts me back to 2019 when I was actually playing this drum. So, man, wow. All right, let me play to a track. All right, y'all, see you guys in the next video.